my point is the other thing that you mentioned, Audrey, on the later part of what you said, <clears throat> uh, I think it's a mix of both. Um, I think the pandemic has brought about a bit of a fatigue, but what um, the pandemic has brought about to a lot of people and a lot of industry or whatever you call it is that is disrupting everything that you know of, right? Mm. You used to be study hard, get a job, get a degree, you can find a job. You do that during a pandemic, nobody gets a job. You have studied <laughs> hard. You've got your, your degree, your bachelor's, whatever. You're still not going to get a job because it's not there. It is not there. Huh? <clears throat> and, 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 and what happens? <clears throat> Those who are in employment, people like me, are forever panicking and worrying, what if I lose my job? It's not about me not wanting to do something intrinsic, intrinsically satisfying, you know, self-actualization, all that. But I always have this concern. Now that everything is disrupted, I may lose my job. And what can I do about that? Okay, which is why I think I sort of turn to crypto for investing long term, whatever you want to call it, speculation or trading, whichever it is. I think I fall into all three certain aspects, certain points in time. And, and, uh, and I need to build that. That doesn't change because I still need to think about building a, a retirement fund, right? For my kids, me and my wife when we retire, etc. That doesn't change. Didn't you say what, that you, 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 you have given up on the concept of retirement? I have. Like two, two have, episodes but, ago. Yes, I give up on retirement in the sense that I need money to spend if I lose my job. <laughs> that that aspect, yeah, that aspect. Because, because you, you, you have to worry about that. And if you know that your job can be gone anytime, you need to find a plan B or a plan C or a plan D. Plan, plan B, I, um, if you live in the US, Uncle Sam's got print money. <laughs> <laughs> and that, and, that and is not forever. And maybe, and maybe I would want to talk a bit about that later, but I'll let Jeremy finish first. <laughs> yeah. So, so I think I think it's uh, like you say, right? You know, your teacher they want to write a tech stock. I don't think it's so much of a. I, maybe there's a bit of a, I want to get rich fast, but that has always been there, right? Pandemic or no pandemic, crypto or no crypto. That's why Ponzi schemes have been around for so long, right? <laughs> Fair enough. It has always been there. Ponzi scheme has always been there, even without crypto. Let's not link the thing two together, okay? It's not one is a tool, one is just devious people, okay? Right? Are there, are there people, people who rich. say cryptos are Ponzi schemes? Uh, there's a lot of this kind of a bad association because I, I think um I, think I like to. It depends to, on it? what coin you buy, right? No, 